Hey there, my name is Nick. Uh, I'm a voiceover artist. I give Inkscape a 5 out of 5, and for more reviews, click below. I tried using a few other programs uh, for graphic design, such as Microsoft Paint and those usual programs you might use. Uh, however, when I started looking for something in the vector, uh, vector scene uh, to work on art that way and design, I actually was most recommended to use Inkscape. So when I first started up, I actually fell in love with it very, very quickly, and I never actually looked for a different program beyond that. It just worked out really well from the beginning. I chose Inkscape because it was fairly easy to use. There's a large community online, so if you're ever looking for, how do I do this? You can always look that up. There's someone either from Inkscape or from the community that has already shown how to do it, either by YouTube video or just by written instruction. So it was very easy to find what I needed to do. Uh, when I was using it, it was very fairly, fairly simplistic in terms of where things were. Uh, very few things were kind of hidden from you. Uh, if I needed, it was very also very particular. If, if I wanted something placed in a very specific place, it was very easy to do that, and I could mold things exactly the way that I wanted them to be. So that's that's why I chose Inkscape for my art so far. When I first got started with Inkscape, it was a bit of a learning curve. This is my first vector program, which has a much different style than other uh, regular painting kind of programs. There's a lot more uh, to learn in terms of how to actually fashion vector art. However, like I said, there was a lot, there's a huge community that really is there to help you out, either from Inkscape itself or from other graphic designers who have used it. So it was very easy for me. If you were willing to put in a little time looking things up, uh, it's very f easy to find the how-tos and actually figure out how to do what you're doing. So getting started with Inkscape is actually pretty easy, which I really enjoyed. If you want to use Inkscape in your business, I have a few recommendations. First of all, make sure that you have you know, a good amount of computer speed and power behind it. It does take a little oomph out of your, out of your, out of your, your computer, There's often, especially if you have a lot of uh, different little pieces to your art. Uh, so I would definitely recommend that. However, it's a uh, it's it's free. I mean, it's you can't really go wrong with free. <laughs> so I, I would definitely recommend you know using it if you love it. Feel free to su support the creators. You know, they're great guys. Uh, and you know, really, you know, get, get to know all the little functions of it. There's a lot, there's a lot there. There's a lot of little tools that you can use. Uh, but if you can, you know, take the time to really learn the ins and outs of it, I believe it's a great program to actually do exactly what you want it to do.